Many of us want to individually be able to lock any app on our iPhone. So I found a shortcut which allows us to actually do it. I shared this on my Instagram recently and people just went crazy over it. Many people were asking about, can you please make a tutorial? So this video will be a tutorial on how you can individually lock apps. And there's a little bit of a special thing in it. In the end, if somebody types wrong passcode for any app, and it's a pretty funny thing. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial as mentioned previously i shared this video on instagram and just people went crazy over it so everyone asked for a tutorial so yeah in this video i'm going to explain how you can put a passcode on any app and then if people type your wrong password a photo will be taken which is absolutely amazing so let me show you step by step uh, you can get that first you need to install the shortcut that i made which is called iLog by apple design what you can do right now is scan this qr code and then long press and and open this shortcut in your shortcuts app. Another option is that you can use the link in the description below to open it in your browser and then open it and download it to shortcuts. Oh, let's do the easy option here. Long press the QR code and open iLog in my shortcuts app. All right, let's add the shortcut. Well, I already have it, but I'm gonna replace it for the sake of this video. And there is it. Now we need to make a couple of adjustments here, add a couple of settings. So we're pressing on the three dots. Now we'll be faced with this screen. First, what we need to do is we need to find a passcode. So let's make a passcode, for example, one, 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 easy. It's done. So after we selected a passcode, we need to select an app that we want to have this passcode on. So let's, for example, use Instagram in this case. In Instagram, there it is. So now we'll have a lock, uh, a specific lock for Instagram. The next step that we need to do is we need to click the share icon in the bottom right and then select add to home screen. Now comes the important part. We need to change the name and the icon of our shortcut. So we're obviously are going to call this Instagram. And second, we need to change the appearance of this shortcut. So we need to get the Instagram icon and edit here. So I've already saved the Instagram icon. You can easily find this online this is the icon choose there it is looks like instagram and now we're going to edit to our home screen so we can hit done to close this one off and as you can see here, here's our fake Instagram and here's our real Instagram. So what we can do, for example, now is we can remove the original Instagram from our home screen. And now we're going to grab our fake Instagram or our shortcut with the passcode. And we're going to edit to the home screen. Hit done. Now, when I press on it, it's going to ask for the passcode that we made. So let's this time fill in the good password. Hit done. And there we go, now we're into Instagram. But now, what happens when a thief or a malicious person wants to enter your Instagram and he doesn't actually know the passcode and fills in the wrong one? Well, this is what happens. He's going to try and get in and then, bam, a photo is immediately taken of that person and is saved to your photos. Let's have a look. And there it is. So yeah, there you have it. This is how you can individually lock any app with a passcode. There's a little bonus that if you type the wrong passcode, then somebody will be captured in a photo, which is amazing. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. And yeah, see you in the next one, guys. Peace.